Create a new project in GarageBand and select the sampler. You're going to create an instrument from scratch by recording your first name with the sampler. Press the red start Katie. button, say your name and then press stop. If you have some silence at the beginning of the waveform, you should trim it by dragging the yellow bar here. You can play back your name using the keyboard at the bottom Katie. of the screen. Katie. Experiment by changing octaves to play higher or lower sounds. You can also press a key quickly Katie. to hear just the first Katie. part of your Katie. name or Katie. hold your finger down to hear your whole name. Next, we'll record an 8 bar rhythm using your name. Practice your rhythm first and then when you're ready, tap the record button at the top of the screen. You'll hear a 4 Katie. beat counting Katie. and then you can start playing. At the end of the 8 bars, GarageBand will play back your recording from the start. Stop playback by tapping the stop button. Switch to Track View by tapping the Track View button. You should be able to see the region you recorded with the sampler. Tap on the new track button at the bottom left of the screen and select the smart drums. The hip hop kit is the default choice, but you can select a different kit by tapping on the hip hop drum kit picture. Drag instruments from the right side onto the grid to build up a pattern that you like. If you place an instrument on the left side of the grid, it will play a simple rhythm and if you place it on the right side, it will play a complex rhythm. You can also make a sound louder by dragging it to the top or softer by dragging it to the bottom. When you're happy with your pattern, rewind the playback cursor to the start of your project and then press record. You don't need to do anything Katie, else. Katie, GarageBand will play and record Katie, the rhythm Katie, for you. Katie, Let it record Katie, for the full 8 bars Katie, and then press stop. To finish off the piece, we'll add a ready-made bass loop from the loop library. Tap the track view button to return to the track view screen. Then tap the loop button, select instruments and then choose bass. You can listen to a loop by tapping on it. When you've found one you like, hold your finger on the loop and then drag it across to bar 1 underneath your existing tracks. To finish off we'll make sure all the tracks are balanced. Swipe your finger from left to right across the track header area to show the track controls. Tap the play button and listen carefully. You want to make sure all the tracks are balanced. You can use the volume slider on the track header to increase or decrease the volume of a track if you need to. When you finish, tap My Songs. After your project has finished saving, tap on the title and then rename it.